past silent. Throughout history, young people have raised their voices to challenge inequality. I will not be silenced. I will not look back on my youth with the shame of inaction. They don't speak for us. I will not be silenced. majority gives them toxic power. They don't speak for us. I will not be silenced. I stand in solidarity with those whose voices they try to suppress. Protests give a voice to the voiceless. Where the system breeds corruption and greed, where money talks, I will not be silenced. of basic human rights in a democracy. You know, we're meant to be the mother of democracy. Well, I think we are in the middle of a fascist state now. It's, it's going that way. I'm horrified and miserable. And I just hope they take that bill apart and feed it through Parliament bit by bit, not sort of putting it all together in a laugh. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. protest bill is uh, a real danger to our democratic right to pro protest. Um, I think the ability to not be noisy and not essentially be disruptive in the way we protest means that the point of protest is lost because protests I think need to be disruptive in order to be effective otherwise people don't listen and people don't pay attention. So I think the ability to disrupt the status quo and to change things uh, is absolutely fueled by protests and it's an essential part of making progress. Uh, as you can see from my sign, it's a huge part of why women got the vote and there are many, many historical examples of protests leading to progressive change. So I think the policing bill is a huge threat to that and that's why I'm here. Essentially, I think that the whole bill is about, is about shutting down protests in its full form and I think that to overturn the bill and to not let it go through would be my message to the government. Huh? Huh? Look, you the if they deem you to be annoying, which obviously has so much subjectivity. And you can get 10 years in jail for defacing a statue. And this is at a time when we have Tory politicians who have been found to break the law by giving billions of pounds of PPE contracts to their friends. And they haven't even lost their jobs, let alone they should be in jail. And now they're taking away our right to protest. And protest is an essential part of our civic liberties. Like, how the hell do you think women got the right to vote through protesting? How the hell do you think we're going to get any action on climate change without protests? Like, we've had long enough and no one's acted. And this is at a time when, you know, people are waking up. You've seen mass movements for the Black Lives Matter. You've seen the anger after, you know, police a police officer who was still on duty, who is still employed by the force, killed 
and murdered this innocent woman. And it's just it's just shocking to me that they are trying to push this authoritarian bill through. So please, please do everything you can to kill this bill.